Hey, I just got a call a few minutes ago. Did I hear them correctly when they said you fell down the stairs and ended up with multiple broken bones? You heard them correctly. Right now, I'm in a really bad shape, and my whole body is in horrible pain. I'd really love it if you could bring some things from home to the hospital while I'm here. I never thought you'd end up all screwed up like that. How embarrassing for you and me now. Huh? I'm sure the reason you fell down those stairs is because like every time you were dozing off while walking and didn't even see the steps in front of you. And because of you daydreaming like that, you fell down those stairs and hurt yourself. I'm sure that doctor was lying to me when he said that you're badly hurt and have all those breaks. No way that could happen to someone by falling down a couple steps. Are you not embarrassed by how this all happened to you? Wait, why would I be embarrassed by what's happened to me? This has nothing to do with me dozing off and falling because of that. Are you not even worried about the condition I'm in right now? Worried? What should I be worried about right now? You should be able to get right back to work after this, right? I'm not asking you to be worried about me getting back to work or not. I'm asking if you're worried about the fact that I just broke a ton of my bones and will need surgery to fix a few of them. Don't you think you could be a little bit more considerate of my condition at the moment? It's going to take me around two months at the very least to get through most of my recovery here, and so there's no way that before the end of those two months, I'll be back to work. What? So you're telling me you won't be going back to the office for a whole two months now? My god. You are the least helpful person ever, Mike. I feel so bad for the people that are going to still have to hand you some form of pay while you're out of work. Can you please not say things like that to me now? I didn't end up this way because I wanted to be injured or anything. I'm not that kind of person, and I really want you to understand that what's happened to me was an accident. So please start talking about what's happened to me in a lighter tone. At this time, I'm in a tough place mentally and hearing you speak horribly of me makes me come even closer to breaking down. I'm not sure what you're going on about. I hope that after this accident, you learn just how useless you really are to not only the company that you work for, but also to your family back at home. I knew for a long time now that you've been a waste of the company's payroll, but aren't you embarrassed by the fact that you won't be back to work for a whole two months now? You need to see just how much of a fool you look like right now. I swear to God, you are such an idiot. Not even my boss talks to me like that about my position within the company, Angela. I never expected someone like you to talk to me in that way, actually. Wait a second. Do you not even plan to come back home for the next two months then? Um, I have to be very relaxed while I'm going through my recovery phase. And so the plan was to keep me in the hospital for two months while healing from the surgery. And also while having myself tied up in the bed here. My god, then what's going to be done about all the housework at home? Are you expecting that I do all the cleaning and laundry here for the next two frickin' months? There is no way that's happening, Mike. Just because you're useless and can't help our family doesn't mean that I need to pick up the slack and do all the work now. Are you kidding me? You don't even have a job right now, Angela. You said to me that the trade-off for leaving your job is that you'd take care of all the cleaning and chores like that while I work. So I think it's totally fair that you have to do all those things for a few months while I'm here recovering. I can't come home right now as I'm not able to move out of this bed. And so can you please be the one to do all the chores? Besides, I won't be around the house much for a bit, so you won't even have to clean things as often as we normally have been. Jesus, that is going to be a total pain in my butt, you know. Ugh. It's because I have to hold on to a useless husband like you that my whole life has been nothing but frickin' miserable. I hate this. Why do you think I'd ever want to give up my free time to do all the chores in the house? I don't care that you broke some bones, Mike. Are you really saying this all to me right now? I'm telling you that I never planned on breaking a lot of my bones and becoming immobilized like this. Right now, I feel the same way you do. Miserable. Well, I don't give a crap about you being miserable right now. You're the only one to blame for falling down those stairs, and so you don't get the right to sit there and feel sad for yourself. Right now, you've caused a whole lot of trouble for all those around you. 
You should be telling every single person that you've affected that you're sorry for being alive still and having to put more weight onto their shoulders. Angela, you should know that you're being a little too overwhelming right now. For the time, just be aware that I'll be staying at the hospital in the center of town. I ask that you please stop by sometime soon and drop off some things for me. Books, games, anything that will keep me entertained while I'm laid up in bed for two months. Huh? You actually expect me to go there and see you now? <laughs> huh? Why don't you ask your mom to bring some things for you? That lady is always free, right? <laughs> please do not act that way towards me, Angela. It is not appropriate right now. And as for my mom, she's not going to be able to come to this hospital as easily as you can. She would also have to drive over to our house to get my things, and then drive another direction to get here. That's too much to ask from her. With you, all you have to do is drive 30 minutes to the hospital and hand me some things. Is that too much to ask? I have a lot of things keeping me busy. Unlike you and your mom, I don't have the time to be running things back and forth from this house to you. Are you kidding? So you're really not going to bring me anything, let alone come and see me here? Ask someone else to come and visit you with all your things. I don't have time for such tedious things as that. Now I am a busy woman and I have to get back to my life. Make sure to stop trying to text or call me now, okay? I need all the quiet time I can get right now to start thinking about just how useless of a husband you are and what I'm going to have to do about you. What are you saying, Angela? Do you really not want to listen to what the man you married has to say? I'm serious, Angela. Why are you acting this cold to me now? Angela, today I'm getting out of this hospital. You really didn't even come one time to see me there while I was recovering, did you? Not even after the surgeries I ended up going through. I'm finally going to be coming back home now, but are you even still there? I have something very serious that I'd like to talk to you about, so it'll help to do it in person. Ah, I made sure to fill out most of the divorce paperwork and leave it on the table for you when you get back. What? Your daughter and wife have moved out of that house now. <laughs> I have no use for a husband that cannot work anymore, and so I want the two of us to part ways for good. You have not even showed me an ounce of care after my accident. And now this? Well, thank God I got used to never seeing you for the past two months. And are you serious about having filled out divorce paperwork for us? And also about already have moved out of the house with our daughter? I'm telling the truth, Mike. <laughs> and why wouldn't I have done all of this? You were a huge thorn in my side even before you fell down those stairs, but after that, I couldn't imagine another day where you were my husband. I don't need myself a man who's just going to sit in the hospital for two months and tell his family to handle all the housework while he's gone. <laughs> Your daughter and I are out of that house now, so go ahead and hand in that paperwork for me, please. For crying out loud, thank you! Now you're going to try and hide your true feelings? <laughs> no, I'm actually really thankful! I could never be happier than I am now. I'll make sure to stroll over to the city office today and hand him all those papers with a huge smile on my face. I will finally be back to the life I had before. Freed from my chains. Huh? What's up with you now? Why are you acting all joyful to hear this from me? I understand that you're probably just trying to act all tough and hide your emotions, but come on now, Mike. You're sounding like a madman now. <laughs> I know for a fact that deep inside you are crying for me to come back to you. To tell you the truth, that whole time I sat in the hospital recovering, you nor my daughter ever came to see me, and that gave me a chance to really think about the life I had with you both. So now that you're saying that you're both leaving me, I feel like that nothing's actually changed for me. If anything, I was a bit worried to come back home to you both being there, so this had lifted that fear off my back. I was a bit depressed thinking that I'd be going back to two people who don't even care about me, and would rather see me waste my life working away in order to keep them fed and under a roof. Depressed? Why would someone like you be depressed by that when you're only just good enough to make money for us here? Tell me, Angela, who's the actual person here that's useless and a waste? Excuse me? You promised me that after you quit your job a long time ago, that you'd become a housewife and get all the chores and cooking done, but that never turned out to be the case with you. 
Instead, both you and Sid would just sit around all day. And the moment I got home from work, would start going off on me saying that I need to get everything in the house done. Did you know that the reason for me falling down those stairs wasn't due to me dozing off at work? It was due to the fact that I was so exhausted from having to do so much at home for you two that I passed out the moment I got to the office and stumbled down three flights of stairs. Yet you never wanted to listen to the real reason for all of that. You can say whatever you want to say about why you fell down those stairs, but I will not allow you to blame me for your incompetence. I remember how you'd also go off on me about how my job didn't pay enough and that it was because I sucked at it and needed to try harder. You'd also tell me to start working overtime so that I could make more for the family. But when I'd receive that in my next paycheck, you tell me it's not enough and that there's no reason for me to be staying late at work. It was always one thing or another with you, and no matter how hard I tried to make you happy, you never seemed to care. I even remember those days I'd stay late to make extra money, and when I got home, you'd ask me where dinner was and why I hadn't started making it yet. And not just that, but then follow that up by yelling at me for not having any of the chores done yet. I'm being honest when I say that I was at my limit, and so having you tell me that you want a divorce now is the best news that I've received in such a long time. <laughs> I can see that you keep blaming that all on me, but you know it's actually because you're a waste, right? Say whatever makes you happy, Angela. I'm going to divorce you now, and I'd rather not listen to you complain about me anymore. I'll finally be free, so don't expect me to back down now. You're free now? <laughs> you have neither a job nor any money anymore, so what freedom will you possibly have? You're never going to be free now because you have no money to spend. <laughs> You are a waste to this world, and that's why you've been thrown away by both your daughter and your wife. I've been thrown away? You really view it that way? Excuse me? I'm sure that the only ones who will be in trouble after throwing me away will be the two of you. But, well, whatever life you have after this, do your best with it. I'm going to have that divorce paperwork handed in by the end of the day, so go ahead and live your lives however you like. You don't have to tell me that, Mike. <laughs> and as for you, good luck getting through the hell you've been gifted. And of course, you and I won't be family anymore, so don't come crawling back to us crying for our help. There wouldn't be anything in helping you for us anyway, since you have no money now. I see. Well, whatever you think of me doesn't matter anymore. Just be glad that I'm not going to try and get any sort of revenge on you two after what you've done to me. I am being very clear with you that I am the happiest I felt in a long time. Thank you so much for leaving my house for me. Is that so? It's disturbing to hear you say you're happy after something like this, but oh well. Goodbye forever, you frickin' loser. There is one thing I forgot to mention to you, though. I know every little thing about how you've been cheating on me with another man. Huh? Cheating on you? What do you mean? Have you gone completely off the deep end now? Because what you're saying to me makes zero sense. I'm sure it makes a bit more than zero sense to you. <laughs> Did you think you could keep all your activities with him hidden from someone like me? I know for a fact that you've been with that other guy for a very long time now. And as a cherry on top, I have evidence of it all. What are you talking about? Are you just trying to make things up now so that you feel better about being divorced? Why would I be making something like this up with you? <laughs> As of right now, I'm not the one losing this battle we have between us. If that's what you want to make all of this, then go ahead and do so. But I think that I'm anything but the loser right now. And that's because I'm not going to lose. <laughs> You're just trying to make me get all worked up now, aren't you? There's no way you'd ever figure out something like that when you've been cooped up in that hospital for the past two months. Don't get so carried away with thoughts like that. I told you that I don't have any intention of getting revenge, because I'm actually quite happy with us getting divorced. And tomorrow, I'm going to have all the locks to my house changed, just to be safe. Wouldn't want any chance of you getting back into my house to be there. Huh? You're going that far? A lot of my things are still in that house, Mike. I'll make sure to put them all in the trash outside for you, so don't worry about those. You've told me that you guys have already left for good. 
so there's no reason for me to keep your things here, right? If you actually still needed any of this jewelry or clothing, you would have packed them up and took them when leaving as well, right? Allow me to make this crystal clear for you. I do not want you or Sid coming back to my house. But be aware that I will be talking with a lawyer about how you've been cheating on me, and I'll make sure that there's a settlement that you have to pay me. Huh? You want me to pay you a settlement? You understand that I don't have a job right now, right? Oh, I do know that very well, Angela. And not only am I aware of you cheating on me, but I also saw that letter you attached to the divorce papers saying that you want half of all my properties in the divorce. But thinking that you'll be getting anything from me in the divorce is a bit too generous after what you've done. How about instead of acting as though you won this battle against me, you open up your eyes a little bit more and see the reality of your cracking situation. Why should I have to give you anything of mine in this divorce? When it's you who have been without a job for years now and have been cheating on me with another man behind my back. Had you done nothing besides asked for the divorce, you probably could have gotten half my things. But you went as far as cheating on me, right? I am not cheating on you. Stop trying to paint weird pictures of me in your head, okay? These are not false accusations that I'm making of you though, Angela. I already have solid evidence of you cheating on me, so it's no use trying to run from me now. It's better that you just embrace the truth now, so that you don't have to overwork yourself trying to live a lie. Anyway, I'm going to have a lawyer with me here soon, so running away is not going to be an option anymore. <laughs> Are you seriously getting yourself a lawyer now? Do you really think what's happening between us requires someone like them to be around? This is all supposed to be between us and not have anything to do with strangers. Mike, there is really no reason for you to go that far, right? We have been together for over 20 years now, meaning that there should be no hard feelings after something like this. Have you forgotten how much I loved you all that time? Hmm? What are you trying to say to me now? We've been together for over 20 years. That's a pretty dang long time, and us having to divorce now is something that normally happens to any couple after this long. Let's just continue to be kind to one another and end things between us without creating such a mess. Why are you trying to backtrack now saying that you want all of this to end neatly? <laughs> you were the one that forced me to go day by day with loads of stress in my life, while cheating on me in the background. And while I was in the hospital recovering from multiple broken bones, which I'm still having to deal with by the way, you filled out divorce papers and left the house with my daughter. You've made it pretty clear that you never wanted things to be neat when leaving me. <laughs> and understand that I'm going to be generous by going through with this divorce. As that's what you've been so desperately wanted, right? But I will make sure that you pay me for all that time of mine you wasted. Having a relationship with another man. And as I'm aware, the man you've been going out with secretly doesn't have a ton of money himself. So he might end up throwing you away when he finds out about me and my plans. <laughs> you even began to look into him? I have not been going out with him though. He is just a very close friend of mine. Oh, he's just a friend now, is he? <laughs> well, just to make everyone aware of this, I'll have the evidence of you both sleeping together sent to your parents' house. What? Why would you send it all to their house? Why? 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 This is all being done to ensure that you don't lie to your parents about the real reason behind this divorce. And so that they understand the real woman you are. It's insane that you thought after pulling a stunt like that, that you'd be getting any part of my properties in the divorce. Well, that's really never going to happen for you. And all you'll be getting now is a court notice stating that you owe me money in the divorce. And I'm betting that you're going to have a hard time getting back out there and finding a job for yourself after spending so long being a fake housewife for me. Why are you talking to me like you're going to come out on top? You're in the same boat as me right now, jerk. You don't have a job anymore yourself and all your money is tied up paying for your medical bills. Huh? Why do you think that I'm without a job right now? <laughs> you haven't been able to show up to work for the past two months, so your boss has fired you by this point, right? That's the whole reason I threw you away. I was not going to stay together with a man who thinks it's okay to just slack off for two whole months and not care about his job that made money for all of us. 
Well, I was never fired from that job, Angela. Huh? I have never been slacking off, and I don't even understand how you got that idea of me in the first place. I told you that I was in a major accident at work, and that it would take me two months to recover from it. And that's just the time required for me to heal from the breaks themselves. I'm still going to be going to physical therapy for the next year or so to help me get back to the amount of mobility I had before. But I'm sure you never would have known about my condition or about how I plan to get back to normal since you never came to see me in a hospital. What do you mean you haven't been fired yet? How the hell could that be? I was given sick leave for a month and a half so that I could recover in the hospital. But I only used a month of it because after that first month, I got use of my left hand again. And so my boss was kind enough to allow me to work remotely, which I've been doing now for a month and will continue to do so as I stay in physical therapy. Therefore, I have not been fired from my job. I was hurt on the job, so they could never fire me for something like that anyways. I sure think you're a bit screwed in the head though for not ever coming to see me in a hospital and for the fact that you continue to verbally abuse me for my injuries. But thank god I had been wanting to divorce you as well, so this is a win for both of us. Now, you and your daughter do your best with that man you've been cheating on me with, okay? <laughs> and don't forget that I plan to take a good amount of your money in this divorce. Mike, why are you not going to answer your phone? I even came all the way back to your house, but it doesn't even look like you're there anymore. And I can't even get into the house anymore because you changed the dang locks on me. What the hell do you think you're doing trying to play hide and seek with me? Why are you coming back to talk to me again? And another question, why would I allow a stranger to come into my home without a good reason? Calling me a stranger now? What is wrong with you, Mike? Huh? How is that wrong of me? Right now, I'm in a very bad place and need help. And it's made me see that I actually want to get back together with you again, Mike. Are you sure you don't feel that way about us now? Because your boyfriend ran away from you after hearing about the amount of money I'd be taking from both of you? <laughs> don't you feel a little bit sorry for me, though? Even Sid has turned a cold shoulder to me and said that she's going to live on her own now. So I have nobody left to love me and call family. I want to go to see my boyfriend and talk this all through with him, but he'd never listen to me now. And as for my parents, well, they're very pissed at me for what I did to you and everyone and told me to never come to their house again. And so I just want to come back to you now and live with you again. It's the easiest option for me at this point in time. So can you please start taking care of me and let me back into your life? I'm laughing my butt off right now at how naive you're acting. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... It's gonna have to be a fat no for me. <laughs> huh? I don't have the mental strength anymore to deal with a freaking idiot any longer in my life. So no. Have you not noticed that the whole reason your life really sucks right now is because of all the things you did to me? It makes no sense for you to come back to the person you hurt and ask for them to let you back into their life. Now, go back to suffering in that hell you've created for yourself, please. <laughs> I am a complete stranger to you now, so never, ever come around me again. And I'm sorry for being a useless and jobless husband back then. <laughs> and just as what has been expected, Angela was not able to get any sort of help from anyone she knew, and was left stranded with nowhere to go and nothing to do. I'm guessing that since she's still got to pay off the settlement I asked from her, that she'll be working odd jobs for a long while now, and realize just how cruel life is when you've slacked off for many, many years. I have still stayed in touch with her parents though, as they were really good friends with me, even before we had gotten married and had Sid, and they still tell me that every so often they hear her crying at their front door in near silence, hoping that one day they'll open the door and let her in. But what she doesn't know is that they're planning to have a large fence installed around their house, and so she won't get many more chances to be under the awning of their house. <laughs> As for Sid, I haven't heard from her again since the day before my accident, and I don't expect to, but she never ended up blocking me on Instagram. So from time to time, I'm able to see her post, and see that she's found a man of her own now to get close with. 
It seems those two will get married soon, but I'm never going to need to bother with her anyways. It's just good to know that she got away from her crazy mom as well, and is doing alright with someone else now. I bet you that Angela really does regret ever cheating on me and then leaving me the way she did. But as for me, I'm more relaxed now and have a whole new life to live where I could do what I want and not be criticized for it. It'll be a while yet until she's fully paid every penny to me that I've asked for. But I'm in no hurry for the money, as I still have my job to give me a decent income. If anything, seeing her pay me a little at a time each month keeps me updated that she's still somewhere out there, trying to survive on the streets. 